I'm sitting outside right now. I'm just enjoying the weather. Um, so we've been here for a few days now. I sound a little sick because Sophia and I got sick. I don't know how we got sick. I'm thinking it's the weather change. Um, or I'm thinking it might be because we're sleeping right now, all of us, um, in my mother-in-law's room upstairs. And we've been sleeping with all the windows open and then the fan on. And it gets really cold at night here. At least right now it has been getting really cold at night. Um, so yeah i think it's either because like we've been sleeping with the windows open and the fan on at night or it's because of the weather change but sophie and i both did get sick she's getting a little better now um i'm getting a little better now but the last two days we were just like really bad um but yeah she's upstairs sleeping right now taking her morning nap santi's in the living room with my mother-in-law and then tim is on his computer doing some schoolwork. and i just thought i would come outside and have my coffee um yeah i'm just enjoying the little patio, front patio that my, um, I was gonna say my grandparents, <laughs> that my in-laws have, um, it just feels so, like, nice being here, but it feels, like, so weird at the same time, just because, like, I used to live with my in-laws before Tim and I got married, and then after we got married, I was living here also before I moved with him to Washington, so, like, being here, like, all four of us, like, me and Tim, and then now our kids, like, it just feels like, I don't know, it, I don't know how to explain it, like, it's like a good feeling but it's just like wow like i used to live here like not married and not with kids and then now i'm like here again but like with my kids especially like being in like elsinore which is like where not where we're from i'm from corona california but you know my husband grew up here he's from los angeles california but you know his family moved to like elsinore and then my family moved to like elsinore at different times and yeah it's just a long story maybe like later we'll give our story of how we met and everything but yeah, it just feels like so cool to be here like with our kids and like the city has changed so much like they i remember when i first moved to like elsinore years years ago when i was like 15 there was really nothing in this city and now there's like so many shops and so much like to do around here and yeah it just looks like they really have like progressed it like put so much new things like stores restaurants all that kind of stuff so good for the city you know they're creating more jobs and like it looks a lot nicer than it did um but yeah i'm just sitting out here enjoying the sunshine i like my in-laws like front area how they have it my father-in-law my mother will have like a lot of plants and like the trees it just looks really pretty outside and Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious I just got home from getting my nails done I got a French manicure And then I got just pink on my toes It is so hot here in California I did not think it was going to be this hot I completely forgot how hot it gets here and i just feel really hot and it's crazy because all my clothes that i have like from north carolina like i would always just wear like crew neck sweaters sweats like just like really warm clothes especially because i was always home and like we always had the ac on um and then like obviously like the last few months of being in north carolina have been really cold and like rainy and just like really cold weather and so all the clothes i brought with me to california are literally like for the cold and right now that I want to go get my nails done with my sister-in-law, um, I mean, I have like this black, like long sleeve shirt. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a lightweight hoodie. And then I have like some black, um, biker shorts, but it is hot. Like it is so hot here. So now I'm like, okay, if it's this hot here in California, I can just imagine what it's going to be like once we get to Arizona and like how hot it's going to be there. But yeah, it's just really hot here. And this little piece of hair has like been bothering me all day because like I put hairspray and I put it like this. But I think it's just my regrowth from like having the kids. Um, cause like it's just like this little piece of like baby hair that's grown out. But yeah, anyways, I got my nails done. Like I said, I got French little tips. Um, I wasn't going to get acrylics. Well, this is a dip, like dip acrylic i guess i don't know i didn't want to get like nails like acrylic i just wanted to get them painted um but i ended up just getting them because i was like you know why not yeah, it was just nice to have like some girl time and like get my nails in and i'm just enjoying the time here with family and friends and you know once i get once i get to arizona it's just gonna be me and the kids again 
um i'm not gonna have like the luxury of like going to do all these like girly things that i would normally do like before i had kids i mean obviously i have tim to help me and stuff but i don't know tim works so much and i always feel guilty for leaving the kids with him even if it's just for a little bit just because i feel like it's my job like i'm their mom like yeah he's their dad and like he does help me i'm not trying to say he doesn't help me but i think because i breastfeed i just feel guilty or if i take too long if i take more than an hour i just feel guilty like no i'm the mom like the kids need me so i'm also trying to like get that out of my head that i'm here now i'm trying to get used to like you know what like we're parents and you're a mom but you can also go do things without the kids and not feel guilty like it's okay to do things you know without the kids it's okay to have like that time by yourself because you know before i had kids like i was my own person um but like since having the kids i've just i don't know like how to like like i'm trying to still find myself again like i feel like after i had santi and then sophia like back to back like uh, like my whole world is like being a mom and like being like you know a wife and like just my kids so i'm trying to like learn and teach myself that like okay marissa like you're a mom and you're a wife but before tim before you got married before you had kids like you were your own person and like there was things I loved doing like I loved going walking around at the shops like if I wasn't working like I would go out and have lunch with friends or like I'd go get my nails done I'd get my hair done I would go to the gym like I would just do things for myself and you know since being becoming a mom I don't really do I do those things sometimes like it's rare um you know when I get the opportunity I'll go do something for myself but it's not like I used to if that makes sense like like, I'm not trying to say I don't do ever do anything for myself because I do. And sometimes Tim's like, babe, go get your nails done. Like, go get your toes done or like go get a coffee or whatever. But even with him like saying, go do this, go do that for yourself. I still feel that mom guilt of like, if I'm doing something for myself or if I leave, like I instantly get guilt. Like I feel guilty and I'm like, no, I need to go home or like I need to hurry up. Like if they're doing my nails and I feel like they're taking too long, I'm like, oh my God, like I need to get home. Or like if I'm at the grocery store and I go get a coffee, I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not going to get a coffee because it's going to take too long. Or I just feel guilty. Does anyone else feel that way? Like any other moms relate? <laughs> I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little And we keep track of time Being so serious, idiots Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Steady cause I'm happy, I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa a brand new day and i'm actually in the car right now because i'm gonna take my niece to school i'm just waiting for her to come in the car so i'm gonna take her to school and drop her off and then i'm gonna go to walmart because i need to get creamer because we ran out of creamer yesterday last night um and then i'm gonna get sofia diapers because she's a size five in diapers and santiago is a size seven in diapers so when we were on our road trip she ran out of size five but i had a ton of size seven from santiago so i started putting on size seven on sofia um and it worked out like it was fine like it was just a, they were a little bit big on her but i would just like roll the front like i would tuck in the front part if that makes sense and then i would just like close it um but now that we're here at my mother-in-law's i was like you know what i'm gonna get her her size diapers just because like i mean santiago's are fine for her to wear but i feel like because they're a little bit big they do get really saggy easily like even if she's not like peed or pooped or anything like they hang and then it just i just don't like how it looks so i'm gonna go get her size five and then 
I'm gonna come back home and then just hang out um help my mother-in-law clean because like there's so many people that live with my mother-in-law and then we're here too with our kids so it just gets really like messy and unorganized and everyone's cooking and then like we clean and then somebody else cooks just because like I said there's a lot of people that live here it's like my mother and my father-in-law it's their house and then my brother-in-law and his fiance she pretty much lives here now too I mean she has her own like she's with her family but she's pretty much here all the time so she basically lives here um and then my sister-in-law her husband my niece and then now me and Tim and the kids so it's a lot of us that are cooking a lot of us that are like just here so <laughs> I can do I've tried so many different mounts like even when I had my camera my G7X like no mount would work for my car just the way like my dashboard is set up it's like so awkward it's not like a flat dashboard it's like really really curvy and like kind of big so yeah the the car mounts didn't work good with my G7X and then now that I'm just using my phone I feel like it's a little bumpy but this is the best I'm gonna be able to do for now until I find something else. But anyways, good morning. I'm on my way to Starbucks right now because I'm gonna get a coffee and probably like a breakfast sandwich. Um, today, me and Tim and the kids are gonna go see my dad. This is actually the first time that Tim is meeting my dad. My dad and Tim have never met before. Um, they've talked on the phone before, but they've never met each other in person. And Tim and I have been together for a really long time. Like Tim and I started dating when I was, I was 19. Um, we started dating so I'm gonna be 29 this year so it's been a really long time but um, my dad and I didn't have a relationship for a lot of years um, so that's why too it's, the best way to explain in like a short version is um, you know my parents divorced when they were really young they had me when they were really young so uh, growing up it was just me and my mom and then my mom met somebody she got remarried and had my brother and my sister and then my dad got remarried and he never had any other kids but his wife at the time had two kids from two previous marriages and basically that woman that my dad was married to she was not a very good woman like to me even to my dad um in the beginning she was you know she seemed very nice and everything but as the years passed she was very very mean to me um she would talk really really bad about my dad to me and around me um she would talk bad about my dad's family um she would do things to me um she would like abuse me I, like honestly guys she like abused me mentally and she even abused me physically um and my dad wasn't around to see all of that because he worked out of state a lot at the time um and she would kind of like tell my dad that I was like a really bad kid I did I was rebellious but I was going through a lot of things um at the time that made me like want to go out with my friends and like just be with my friends because I wasn't comfortable at home um yeah so basically she was just not a good lady she was very mean to me very abusive um and so because of that me and my dad's relationship really like suffered because I would tell my dad how she was and I was young like I was in elementary middle school when all of this was happening um so my dad wasn't really around to see all of that so in his eyes she was a good wife she was a good person but me like experiencing like her abuse like it, it was just kind of a thing where he didn't believe me and she was very good at like making it seem like she was not doing anything and it was like I was the problem um so it came down to it where I just told my mom like I don't want to go with my dad anymore and you know we went through the whole court process and I was already 11 at the time and the judge was like, you know, Marissa's old enough to make her decision if she doesn't want to go see you guys on the weekend or be like see you, she doesn't have to. Like we're not going to force her. 
Um, so I didn't see my dad for five years, I want to say. I think it was like, yeah, I think it was like four or five years I did not see my dad. Uh, we didn't have a relationship and then, you know, the years passed and then I found out that she was just not a good person, you know? Um, and clearly, like, it shows because, you know, they ended up getting a divorce and my dad, I think, finally saw, like, dang, this is not a good lady. So, yeah, anyways, that's why me and my dad did not have a relationship for a long time. Um, but now... I'm like really grateful and like happy that like now that I'm a mom, you know, we have a relationship now. We started building a relationship a few years ago and you know, now I have kids of my own and now they can see their grandpa and um, spend time with him. And now that we're gonna be in Arizona, it'll be a lot easier for me to, you know, come down to California so my kids can see him. Um, my dad can easily take a drive and like go visit us and everything. So yeah, anyways, that's so I feel like that was a really long explanation, but I know sometimes people are curious, like, oh, you know, why didn't you talk to him or what? But that was basically it. Like God is good and God can change any situation around. Like if you would have told me a few years ago, like I would be texting my dad as much as I do now. Like we talk on the phone, he's talked to my husband on the phone, like you know, it just I never would have thought back then that like I would have this relationship with my dad. And this is just the beginning. Like I can't even imagine like how our relationship's gonna be like later on as like Santi gets older and starts playing sports or goes to school or like Sophia goes to like sports or stuff and like my dad will be around for that. Like it just makes me so excited that they'll have him in their lives and like things that maybe my dad wanted to do with me but wasn't able to, he can do with my kids. <laughs>
and I used to be really obsessed with the Bath and Body Works candles, but I haven't gone to Bath and Body Works in a really long time. And Home Goods, Marshalls, Ross, Target, they all have really good candles. So when I went to Home Goods and I was like in the little aisle to check out, I saw this really huge pretty candle and I feel like it's gonna go perfect with their house because like since we're gonna be living basically in the desert in Arizona I kind of want our house to be like desert type of design on the inside and just like I want like a lot of like neutral colors or a lot of white a lot of like cream color now we're gonna move on to Target mainly everything I got at Target was for the kids but I did pick up a few items for the house so I picked these up from the dollar section they were only three dollars for a pack of two they're just like little vases and I'm gonna put like little greenery inside of it I liked the colors um, so this is kind of like the little pops of color that I want to do all over the house, mainly in the kitchen, the living room. I want like this pop of color because look, it like goes, it goes perfectly with the candle I got from Home Goods. Like, see, they're kind of like the same color. And then I picked up these two candles from the dollar spot at Target as well. This is the mango teak wood and then this one is the coconut sugar they both smell really really good and again i like the pops of color that they have because it goes with what i'm trying to go for um see how it's like they're like they just kind of go so then the last thing i'm gonna show you guys from target that i picked up is for the kids i just got them some what is this? dishware yeah i just got them dishware um i got of course blue for santiago and pink for sofia so i got them two plates each blue for santiago pink for sofia um, and then I got them cups as well. And I like these cups because you can put these little like, uh, lids on top and they just pop on. Um, I just have to get the straws for them, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I got. That's pretty much everything for this little mini haul I want to show you guys. Um, I usually like buy stuff and then I just forget to show you guys or I just never end up doing it because I'm like, oh, it's already been a week. Like they don't care. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the